Hello everybody, Andrew Blake from the digitalaudiomanual.com and today we're going to have an overview look at the audio editor in WaveLabcast. So in a previous video we talked about the audio montage being an area where you will assemble your podcast. Well, the audio editor is kind of the other side of that coin. It allows you to make more permanent editing choices to your audio. One of the great things you can do in the audio editor is actually set up and record basic audio, but it also serves as a sketch pad for all your podcasting ideas. You simply come down, hit the record button at the bottom. You're given a dialog where you can set up where you want to save your recordings. And then WaveLabcast automatically configures and sets up the file for you, which then you can return to and trim however you need or bring it into the audio montage. This way you can capture any ideas you have on the fly. And besides recording, you can drag in audio from file locations. You can have multiple files open at one time. Whatever you're working on, you can take the cursor and easily just move to the places you want to edit or cut. You can zoom in and out of your files easily with either shortcut keys or various ways you can just grab on the screen and move things about. The ribbon bar above your files gives you quick access to some of your most commonly used editing tasks and the tools have been categorized. When you've made your recordings, you can actually see the different levels. You can change whole files, or maybe just grab one particular section. And then in these menus, you can find shortcuts to perform common tasks. For example, lowering the level of a particular piece of audio. The audio editor also allows for some very sophisticated editing processes, as in this case where I'm gonna add compression to this small piece. And when I use the rendering options, I can tell it to process the whole file or just the selected audio range, which then allows me to make these kind of exact corrections where they're needed. You have all your usual ways of editing. You can crop, delete, or cut your audio. You can copy various sections, and you're given multiple options to paste your audio. You can insert and remove and edit various kinds of markers, letting you bookmark things along the timeline, or you can use them to create chapters. So in the next few videos, we'll go a little deeper into the how-tos of using the audio editor and then help you get up and running on making your very first podcast. And be sure to subscribe to the WaveLab channel, which will keep you updated on all the latest news, tips, and information. I'll see you on the next video.